was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo, and today we are making a dill pickle pizza. So uh, it might sound strange, uh, I've actually had it before, I've made it before. Uh, it's actually pretty tasty, so I thought I would show you guys how to make it. So I have my dough here, and it's been sitting in the fridge for about a day. Uh, it's the King Arthur recipe, so if you're curious, I'll link that in the description below. So basically all we're gonna do is form the crust and then put all the toppings on it. So let's go. Dust the board. So this dough is huge. So much dough. So I'm just gonna press the sides. <laughs> How you doing? It's a little chilly, the dough is, so it's a little hard to kind of roll out. So I may need to get my rolling pin at some point. I have a tendency not to wait long enough for the dough to warm up. Um, that's just me being impatient. So once I get it to a big enough size, uh, then I'll do the I'll try to do the hand method where you kind of stretch dough under your hands and hopefully not rip the dough. Right now it's really thick, so it takes a second uh, for this to happen. And like I said, it's, it's still a little cold, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. Another method is to kind of just do this, kind of um, work it around in a circle. As you can see, there's a very thin spot in the middle, so that will probably turn into a tear, um, but it's fine. Dough is very forgivable, so you can always uh, patch it up with another piece of dough. And then we're going to just do this again, kind of stretch it out. Don't be afraid of tearing the dough because you can always repair it. Oh, see, there we go. Hello. Here's Johnny. Um, so I'm gonna patch that guy up. There you go. All right. So this is still kind of thick. Um, I think I might Let's try this again. It's really thick. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, okay, so I'm trying to stretch it out a little more. My baking pan, or my, um, my baking stone is only 14 inches, so I can't make this too big. And this is probably as big as I can get it right now. Um, so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a thicker dough, which is fine. Uh, I'll just make sure to keep it in the oven a little longer. Uh, I have the oven preheating at 500 degrees, by the way, which is very standard for pizza. And then I like to preheat it for at least an hour or so, so the stone gets super hot. And, okay. So I think we're gonna just go with it. So it's gonna be a thicker pizza. Um, okay, so let me get ready for the second step. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put this guy onto a pizza peel. And what I normally do is, uh, I'll put semolina flour on it. You can also use corn cornmeal, uh, but I feel like cornmeal has a uh, flavor to it, so if you're not crazy about that corn flavor, uh, semolina does not have any flavor, so that's kind of why I use it. So, just spreading it around, making sure it covers, and this is gonna kind of help with the dough um, to slide off super easy, so. So we're just gonna transfer this onto the pizza peel. And when you do this, you kind of want to work pretty quickly. I mean, that's, 
you don't have to like go crazy, but after a while the semolina is gonna kind of soak up into the dough and it's not gonna do its job. So you wanna kind of top your pizza, like I said, pretty quickly after you put it on the pizza peel. So the first thing I'm gonna use to top the pizza is this garlic oil mixture that I made. Um, it's just literally chopped up garlic uh, in oil. I thought that would make a good base since there isn't any sauce necessarily on this. So I'm just gonna spread it around. The garlic is gonna give a nice flavor. Would combine with the pickle taste. I think garlic and pickles taste really good together. All right, so now that we have that nice base, uh, I'm going to put the mozzarella cheese. You can use any kind of uh, mild cheese, like a mild cheddar or like a Monterey Jack or something like that, as long as it's mild. And I just use this packaged stuff. Uh, I typically prefer to grate my own cheese, but sometimes this is easier, so I'm being lazy today. <laughs> And then the star of the show. So I just got these um, dill pickles. These pickles um, chips, basically. And you can use any kind of pickle you want. These uh, work probably best, but you can get the spears and chop them up yourself or do however you like. But I'm just gonna put these suckers on here. And then that's it for now. And then once it comes out of the oven, uh, we'll put some uh, dill on it, fresh dill, just to give it that extra dilly flavor, and then we're done. So I'm gonna get this guy into the oven, and then I'll be right back. So I just took it out of the oven, and I sprinkled some fresh dill on it just to kind of finish it off. I can't eat this alone, obviously. Hey, baby! Here I am. See how quickly he comes? Yeah, when there's food on the table. So, um, how do you feel about dill pickle pizza? What's your relationship with the pickle? Uh, well, when I was a kid, uh, my aunts, I was the, I was, I'm the oldest grandchild, so when I was a kid, my aunts uh, used to uh, feed me pickles. So I would make a face at the, at the sour pickles. So to me, pickles are, uh, as old as I am, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I, like I've always been into pickles, uh, and I feel like it's because I was raised on them. I used to not have ice cream when I went to ice cream shops. I would have one of those giant pickles. I'm also a big homosexual, so maybe that's also part of it. That's probably part of it. <laughs> All right, so let's try um, this pickle pizza. You. Okay. So we've made this before uh -huh. um, with a pre-made crust. So this is a, an actual fresh crust and it looks like it's cooked, so that's good. It's pretty cooked. I was concerned because it's, it's a lot thicker than um, normal, so. Okay. All right, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's good. What did so, you, what's sauce on here? No. No? So it's basically a white pizza. So it's got garlic and oil, okay. mozzarella cheese, and then uh, pickles, and okay. that's it. So it's a very simple, clean pizza. I like it. No, yeah, I think it's good. It's like a little salty. You're salty. Well, well, that's where I would normally say your mom's salty, but I can't say that. <laughs> Ooh. So, hi, Mom. So I just have some ranch because um, I don't know. There's a whole there's a whole thing with ranch and pizza, and I think it's a very dividing kind of topic, like whether to dip pizza into ranch. But I feel like this type of pizza is acceptable because it's pickles, and it's not a traditional pizza. So yeah, whenever I get like a um, like a fried pickles. Oh, it's kind of like a ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. um, I wish the dressing was cool. <laughs> but otherwise, I, I, think, think, I think, think it cuts it. Yeah, I think maybe next time, if I make this again, maybe put some ranch down as like a sauce. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Hot ranch dressing is like not cute at all. So, that's my opinion, but 
don't know. That's pretty good. So how many how many pepperonis are you gonna give this pickle pizza? Um, I'm gonna give it probably like a three, three to mm. three and a half maybe. Mm-hmm. I think it's good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it four. Okay, because it's very I I love bread. I love bread. Put anything on bread, I'm good. So it's basically <laughs> like pickles on bread and cheese. Yeah, I feel like there's like maybe a couple of things that could be different about this. Like, I feel like maybe um, use mozzarella, right? Mm-hmm. I think maybe the mozzarella somehow is like. I don't think of mozzarella as being very spicy, mm-hmm. but I think maybe because too much. I mean, not spicy but salty, but yeah. Well, there's so, not, there, the only salt is the pickle. Maybe these pickles are just salty. Maybe I don't know. Um, you can see how <laughs> much taller you are than me, and like. What a small, what do you mean? What a small boy I am. Let's do it like this. Well, thanks guys for watching. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe below. And um, yeah. Yeah, um, this is a good pizza. You guys should try it. I'm gonna dip this in this ranch though. With my ranch fantasy. Bye. Ciao for now. Bye later. Where are you going? Going back to my room. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yeah.